Hey guys, welcome to my college decision reaction video. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. I'm super excited to share my results with you. Let's talk a little bit about this application cycle though. So COVID-19 kind of made things nightmarish this year, not gonna lie. There were about 60% more applicants across pretty much every top 20 school. And then also a lot of them were not accepting as many students as usual because of kids taking gap years. So it was just kind of a big mess. And I know a lot of my friends and I were struggling just with like, wow, this admission cycle kind of sucks. But you know, what can you do? Anyway, I applied to 11 schools as a chemical engineering major. So I applied to a decent amount of safety and target schools, which I think is really important to do, especially in an unpredictable year like this. Yeah, I don't think it's exactly about the number you apply to. A lot of people, including some of my friends, apply to like more than 20 schools, which I cannot imagine the stress of dealing with that many applications, but I mean, you do you. If it makes you more comfortable in knowing that you'll probably be accepted to a lot more places, then you do that. <laughs> But anyway, without further ado, here are my reactions. Okay guys, so it's currently 1 a.m. My University of Minnesota application says update available, which it's October 27th. I just applied like a week ago. I'm a little confused, but I think they have rolling admissions. So I guess we're checking it now. It's this new update. So we're posted on October 26th. Oh my god, I've been admitted. <laughs> what? Okay. They got back to me so quickly. Oh my god, I literally just applied like a week ago. Less than a week ago. I love that. Okay. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you all a quick update, but um, I got a really good scholarship for University of Minnesota too, and I got into the Honors College, and all this happened like a month ago, but I just forgot to record it. But yeah, it's currently December 6th, and right now I'm really stressed out about Stanford because I think the results for that come out in like a week or so. I've heard it's on the 15th, but then I've heard they get released a little earlier but I'm really stressed out about that right now. I didn't end up getting an interview and I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign or just doesn't matter. I'm really excited about this though. All right guys, I'm about to check my Stanford results and I'm very nervous. Probably should not be wearing this shirt. So one second. All right, I like this shirt a little better because it better describes the state of limbo that I'm in right now. I don't even know how to do my portal. Check application status, check application status. Okay. Okay, ready? Status update. trying to see if they wait or like yeah. deferred me or anything nope they just said oh no nope. hey guys so it's been like an hour since my stanford rejection and i was just thinking i think a few years ago there was this kid who also got a 1600 on his sat from my school who was also rejected by stanford so maybe maybe they just have something against kids from my school it's a thought I'm just not going to let it get me too down because, yeah, college decisions are just crazy sometimes and pretty much random, and this just goes to show that. Alright guys, so it's Purdue Decision Day, and I'm going to log into my portal. Bruh, okay, wait. I'm scared. Yay! I got in! Oh my 
my god! And I got the presidential scholarship! Sweet! Nice! Okay guys, so I've heard across the internet that you Mitch results are coming out today at 3pm. It's 3.18 right now. I'm beyond nervous for this. I really care about U of M. I really hope they like me. <laughs> Deep breathing exercises. Oh god. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna check it. Yay! Okay, okay. I got in. There's confetti. Amazing blue confetti. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got into you. <laughs> I'm so relieved right now. <laughs> okay guys, so it's January 31st right now. UW-Madison's results were supposed to be out by the 31st, but they're kind of late to the game. So, um, I'm gonna check to see if they're in yet. Uh, it's under maintenance. Oh, notification center. One new notification. This is the weirdest portal ever. I'm sorry. Okay, admissions decision. Yay! Oh my god! Okay, I got in. That was so confusing. <laughs> okay, so apparently it's Caltech decision day. I found out because I checked the applying to college subreddit. Didn't get an email for this one. Probably not a good sign. Why am I scared? Why am I so scared? Alright, alright. Status update. March 6th. Let's view the update. Oh, okay. I was rejected. Oh my god, their letter is so confusing. <laughs> what? I was like reading it, like, oh, maybe I have a shot. Yeah, little secret. I don't really want to go to Caltech anymore. It's like one hour away from MIT decisions and I am genuinely so stressed out about this. If you didn't know, MIT is kind of my dream school, like my interview went really well. I just feel like MIT and I are perfect fit for each other. It's just like Schrodinger's cat right now because I've just been in this limbo state for so many months of not knowing quite what my future is gonna be. Because I already got into U of M, and that's like also kind of my dream school. And I got an $80,000 scholarship from U of M. That's a tough choice to make. So basically, it's probably either MIT or U of M at this point. And in one hour, I get to find out where I'm going to college. Oh god. For like Stanford and Caltech, yeah, the rejections kind of hurt a little bit, but I wasn't set on those schools. And those schools wouldn't be exactly what I was looking for in schools, but it's just kind of, you apply because like, you know, it's still good to apply. But MIT is too close to my heart at this point. I'm probably way too attached to MIT. I'm gonna be like, heartbroken. Oh god. Whatever happens, it'll be fine. Like, it honestly doesn't really matter that much. And if I get rejected from MIT, then I save like $80,000, so. It's a very good worst case scenario. It just feels like all four years have been building up to this moment and I need to stop putting that much pressure on this one decision, but it kind of feels like that right now. See you in an hour. Uh. Okay. Let's go to the portal. Uh. I'm scared. Me too. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't stand it. Status update. No. Oh. But it's Ooh. okay. It is okay. <clears throat> Doing great I job. even wore my shirt for good luck. <laughs> I even did my nails in MIT red for good luck. Oh. It's okay though. 
What else did they say? We still love you? <laughs> yeah, there were 33,000 applicants this year. That is part of why. Mm. <clears throat> Aww. Aww. It's okay. Everything went so well, though. That's good, because you know you did the best you could. Yeah. <sighs> It's all good. Let's go eat pie. It's all yeah, good. Let's eat pie. Woo. <laughs>
Anyway, that's all for now. Let me know in the comments below where you're planning to go to school or I don't know if you have any questions about the college admissions process, let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone else who got rejected a whole bunch to make them feel better <laughs> and see you soon. If you made it this far in the video, enjoy this footage of a double rainbow that I captured a few days ago. And yeah, hopefully it signifies bright future ahead for all of us.